El Paso's seventh highest paid employee is getting a pay bump from a nearby city. That's thanks to connections with former city manager Tommy Gonzalez. KTSM's investigative director Andrew Litton has been digging into the story and has more. Smythe, who was hired in 2004, is tied for the sixth highest paid employee in the city. She signed a consulting services agreement with the city of Midland under former city manager Tommy Gonzalez in late April for $150 an hour. The agreement with Midland states payment to Smythe cannot exceed $30,000. The city's outside employment policy states employees can seek secondary employment if they notify their supervisor and file a request with Human Resources. City spokesperson Laura Cruz Acosta tells KTSM the secondary employment rule does not apply to Smythe because the consulting contract with the city of Midland is not full-time employment. As the city looks forward to naming a new city manager within the next month, Smythe is amongst the highest ranking city employees who was not named a finalist for the job. Deputy City Managers Robert Cortinas, Mario Diagostino, and Dion Mack, along with Community and Human Development Director Nicole Farini, are all up for the position. And Smythe is not the only employee with secondary employment. She's only the highest paid. Fire Battalion Chief Chris Menendez also serves as the fire chief for the City of Horizon and El Paso Police are also authorized for outside security jobs.